Having a plan for meals and snacks can be very useful. This plan might include what meals you plan to make versus purchase out, what you might have for those meals, and when you might eat them. Now, planning can vary greatly based on lifestyle and food preferences. So just like there isn't one diet that everyone has to follow, there isn't one way of planning that everyone has to use. But to get you thinking about your plan, here's some ideas to get you started. First, identify if you will be eating in or out. Look at your typical week and the major meals in a day. Will you be eating at home, at work? Will you pack your food or will you purchase it out? It can be useful to take a basic weekly calendar and start penciling in what options you might have at meals. Next, if packing foods, what might you bring? If you will be bringing foods from home, consider what you might pack. Leftovers, a frozen dinner with some extra salad, canned soup with a sandwich. Should you leave some of those foods at the office so they will always be accessible? Work backwards to determine if you need to do some bulk cooking on a weekend, make extra food at dinner, or even packing your lunch at night instead of the morning to make sure you have time. Remember the balanced plate handout and basic goals for a meal. Whole grain carbs, lean protein, vegetables, and healthy fats. Aim to make that happen with what you bring. Next, if eating out, what are the options? If you will be eating at a restaurant or cafeteria or galley, what are the common options there? Do you have a go-to meal or meals you will rotate? Maybe you can easily get a protein choice at a work cafeteria, but you want to save some money by bringing in bagged salad. Again, think of the balanced plate when considering your choices. Next, how can you make a balanced meal happen at home? Cooking at home is almost always cheaper than eating out and gives you the opportunity to tailor meals to meet your nutrition needs, but it does require just a little extra planning. If you are responsible for cooking and already feel comfortable with it, then your planning may just be about picking balanced meals and making sure groceries are in the house to make them. Recipes are great, but you don't have to use them if you are comfortable cooking on the fly. On our website, I've included a list of kitchen staples and potential meal combinations you could make in a pinch in case you run out of options. If you aren't presently responsible for making your meals, then perhaps you could have a discussion with whomever does the cooking to discuss meal ideas and maybe even getting more involved in it. So those are some tips for meal planning. A reminder that this and many other nutrition-focused videos can be found on our health promotion website. Thanks for tuning in.